I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn, baby girl, you know me. Been here many times before, I'm gonna make it short and sweet, buddy, come on. Okay, as you know, this over here is my place, it's the holy moly donut shop, huh? Say to the guys, holy moly donut shop. Holy moly donut shop. Very good, you get one free burglar every lunch break, huh? <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Okay. Still hey, guys. It's Myri, aka Myri, aka The Lid. And I am back with another story video for you guys. This time, my voiceover is in the facility. So if you hear something, this is what you're going to be hearing. <laughs> This video is going to be about what they really don't want you to know. Now, number one, PAs and managers can move you from any station. Just how, number two, you can go on any station, be on any floor, because you're not assigned to anything. They can definitely move you without your consent. Me, personally, I had a situation with somebody I would say I didn't like, you know. Um, she was very unprofessional, and she had moved me from, let's say this, to upstairs with her. And I feel like you definitely can decline if you feel uncomfortable, so make sure to be known, let that be known, open your voice, because that's what I have to do. And then also, I feel like checking with yourself, like, ask yourself, do you feel comfortable? Do you feel okay? Because you come first before anything, and we're not assigned to anything for anybody to ever have to move through anyway. So if you feel like you need to move, then please do, and don't ever let a PA manager stop you from doing it. I don't care if they say they're gonna give you a write-up, no. You can appear that, go to HR or something, okay? So that's number one and two. But two, you can't, um, no, two is you aren't assigned to any station, and one is that PAs and managers can definitely move you. Number three is that you have to store at least five items per pod. So that pod that's so big, that's yellow right in front of me, you have to store that many items. I have my hand boxes, CDs, body wash, you name it. Five items in one pod. Um, they say if you continue to do it, you will get a write-up, especially after three months or two months, when they don't consider you a new hire no more. <laughs> So yeah, make sure you stuff five items per pie. Five. Then number six, I say to meet friends, find people around you, be cool with them, be cordial. I say definitely talk to the people that you're going to be around because you're definitely going to see them a lot. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that you have to make friends or you have to make alliances, but, is it, but it is as good to make human interactions as it is to pray every morning. Um, I feel like we need human interaction as human beings. Like, that makes everything go better, and especially when you're in an environment that could be this loud, could be stressful, and you're just sending your thoughts, you know, which isn't bad at all either, but it's more amazing to have a friend or have somebody that you could just say hi to, hey, and this and that, especially if you don't have a friend or have anybody that's working with you specifically, you know, that came with you, then it could get a little lonely, or if not, hey, I just say still, like, wave, see about people, because I can say, while being here, it's not the people, it's the peers and managers. And I say to definitely, definitely find you some people. Like, they're going to come around or they're going to come to you either way. So don't rush it. At this point, I don't even know what number I'm on. We're just going to go and get seven. So number seven is that make sure to always check your totes. Your totes, okay? Make sure to check them. Because sometimes they be leaking with anything like bleach this that like it's crazy it's amazon so you can only expect what type of liquids they have in big ass jugs you know excuse my french but hey like that shit happened to me and i was like <laughs> you know like exactly that like i was like that like <laughs> that whole emotion like for real check it before anything and if you don't know where the damage like things go to it goes to the people with the no problem solved so that's to the side honey but y'all yeah, make sure you always check your beans your totes because 
I don't know what's going on and why they even allow them to put them up to us like that. But clock that T. Clock it. Clock that T. Clock it. Clock that T. Clock it. Hey. <laughs> so just to let my people know, check the damn thing because they were still on you. And that's effed up. It's effed up. And it could be really anything, like I said. Oh, I remember staking like for a little bit. That shit was awful. <laughs> So speaking on the pies, round number eight, <laughs> um, always, not the pies, the red bins that I'm putting the items in, always make sure when you sign in, when you put your scanner on to turn the thing, if you know, you know. Um, you can watch all my other videos if you really don't know. I'm more than likely showed it before. But once you sign in, make sure you grab an item and scan that. Because that will let your PA, your manager, know when you clock them. And that will help you not get in trouble. Um, never ever just sign in. Never ever just sign in. Like, I don't know what, if anybody ever told you, just sign in and leave it alone, let the pie come to you. No, do not do that. As soon as you sign in, scan an item just like that and go about your way because <laughs> that's when you're actually finding and you won't get in trouble or find a written or whatever whatever you know number nine and i'm really heavy on this y'all do not drink the pot or the energy drink that is in there unless you genuinely do now i can say i have before <laughs> I have before. It probably will be, you know, one day that I come in just really tired and I'm feeling it. But I would say if you're not in that position to not do it, it's not worth it. It's supposed to, I feel like maybe a pot, like, that's really a good one that they really got that in here, a pot. Like, that's dehydration there, honey. You know, even though it is packed with a lot of sugar, but if you're going to also sell an energy drink, then what the fuck, who is the pot? Like, you know what I'm saying? And it would be like, really, the pot station be cool for real. Like, it would like be cool. Who can really drink a pot? But no, I'm, I just did something gone. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I just remember like indulging at one point in time in like energy drinks red bulls be exact and it didn't make me feel well yes it gave me energy but after a while that cool down and feel good at that got home and that's why i feel like you know if you're close to going home or whatever like after you get stuck in the because it's just like, how are you going to sleep when you get home? I mean, other people, hey, if you got a way, teach me the way. But I don't feel like if I up my energy when I get home, it's going to die down in a couple of hours. You know? So, yeah, my number one thing, or number six, <laughs> or seven, eight, nine, is to not drink those energy drinks at all, nor pop. Like, get you some water, please. And another thing, <laughs> you're really on your own in here, I would say, like, you do have help, like, don't get it twisted, you have your PAs, you have your managers, but as far as, I feel like, the beginning, like, you're all by yourself, and even in the beginning, like, my orientation wasn't as good as many other people would probably say theirs was, but mine didn't talk to me as much, I didn't get a lot of information from that guy, um, it just wasn't giving, you know, like, it wasn't giving professionalism and any of that, and that's why I feel like Amazon, it, it's not all professional, like, I'm located in Chicago, so I don't think that plays a factor, I think it's just really the people, the PAs and managers that they pick, okay? So yeah, y'all, yeah, I believe this is the summer in the video. Not really, but the cook off that cook off. It's weird to show, it's a big weird to show, but this is the end of me talking. Thank you guys so much for coming to this channel. Like, commenting, sharing me, talking to me, like, gratitude towards me, my people, like, thank you so much. And for the people that are going through anything similar like I am with a job, they probably don't like, the stressful, people are unorganized, you know, whatever the case may be, but you don't like the situation that you're in, I say to keep your head up, look towards what you want and go for it, see the bigger picture and things. Um, I could definitely say life will be the fondest of me right now, but what I can say, life will be and everything passes. And hey, it's like, you know, ups and downs. And if, hey, if you're down, there's no way, there's no way you can go forever. And you know, you got things like that. But thank you guys so much for watching me. Tune in to all my other videos. If you made it this far, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. 
I'm gonna finish this end of the world. Thank you. Okay, y'all, so just to tell you guys what's going on, it's what, MET week, and MET week is basically mandatory extra time, and in the beginning, like, the orientation, they're going to tell you your day, and more than likely, if you're a night shift and you work Sunday through Wednesday, your day's going to be just like mine, your MET week extra mandatory time is going to be on Friday. Some is Thursdays, and I don't know about Saturday and like the extra curriculum. Right now, I'm gonna either go hide in the bathroom or the break room if it's available. And being available, I mean by nobody's in that bitch. So I'm leaving at 5:30. It's like 4:30 something. So. Like the Barbie, I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Bitch, felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a ten, so I pull in a can. Like Daddy, stay sweet. All of the Barbies is pretty. Damn, all of the Barbies is bad. It's the girls, and we get plain tag. Red, but he spank me when I get bad. I'm in LA, Voltaire Drive. I'm in New York, Madison Ave. I'm a Barbie girl. Pink Barbie dream house. The way it can be killing shit. I'm yelling out like the scream house. You're yelling out, we ain't selling out. We got money, but we ain't lending out. We got bars, but we ain't building out. And that pink Ferrari. Okay, many times before, I'm gonna make it short and sweet. Buddy, come on. Okay, as you know, this over here is my place. It's the Holy Moly Donut Shop, huh? Say to the guys, holy moly donut shop. Holy moly donut shop. Very good. You get one free burglar every lunch break, huh? <laughs> come on, guys. Come on, come on. Okay.